and welcome to Studio Wrap. I'm Stuart Brazel here at the Wrap Studios in Santa Monica, California, joined by Connor Jessup. We just saw the premiere of American Crime. Did you go there to have sex with him? I kept telling you to leave it alone. Why are you doing this? What's the reaction to the audience's response? Uh, you know, it's it's gratifying when you when you're working on something for so long. Uh, we've just finished shooting in December. We were working on it for five months. It's so tightly bound. You know, only 50 people have read the script. It's such Whoa. an insular thing, and for it to come out within an hour to millions of people is, uh, I'm not the first person to say this, but is extremely nice. He wasn't drunk. Someone gave him something. We're suspending Taylor from school. It's a oh, three week well, suspension. You can't suspend him. My son was raped. Obviously it was trending on Twitter. The criticism has been very positive. People are loving it. Yeah. Uh, how is it for you coming off of a, a sci-fi show going into an intense drama? It's, as you can imagine, it's very different because if I was on a show called Falling Skies for six years. It went on for from the age of 15 to 20 for me. It's a machine, Falling Skies, it's, it, it, or it was a machine. It, it, there's a lot of running and jumping and shooting and green screen and things blowing up and people blowing up and, and American Crime is more or less the diametric opposite of that, but within the same structure of like shooting a TV show. So to go from one to the other within a year was really fascinating for me and I think really, most importantly, really healthy for me. And why do you think a show like this is so timely and important for people to watch? When I, when I got the part and started reading up about sexual assault, and specifically about male sexual assault, the, the statistics are overwhelming in every sense of the word. Um, so hopefully it speaks to, you know, a lot of people have gone through this or some version of this, so hopefully it speaks to that in some way. I'm just curious, have you been watching all Making a Murder on Netflix? Have you seen this? I only watched the first episode. I haven't. Because, you know, it is a crime-based show, yeah, and it yeah. is interesting. Obviously, this is a crime that has commi been committed, and to see our mm -hmm. legal system and just police, it's, you Well, know. that's, uh, in a lot of, I don't know what Making a Murder, I've only seen the first episode, but a lot of the show is, it's not a procedural, it's not about solving a crime, but it is about how the system, whether it's the legal system or the school system or the health system, adds trauma after the fact. There's secondary trauma, you know, this, this kid's already traumatized by what happened to him, and he has to go through this whole, this broken system that questions him and doubts him, and at every turn tries to poke holes in what he's saying. And that's, that's how all these victims, all these survivors have to, who, who, who are brave enough to say something, that's what they have to deal with. Well, we're excited to see the rest of the season. Congrats to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us, and We'll see you guys soon. Be sure to watch American Crime on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. on ABC.